So I've been on a bit of an analog roll recently. I have been collecting film cameras and cassette players and cassette tapes. And it's been kind of a fun journey because I grew up on this stuff uh, as like, I guess from being zero to 10, 15, analog stuff was around. That's what I used. I used film cameras. I used cassette players. And then CD players came out and everything changed. But one of the things that I've started really getting into recently is this idea of being able to, to modify things and being able to manipulate things in a physical environment, not necessarily just a digital environment. And I, I've always really liked um, being able to tinker and play with my hands and so in this way it's, it's really fun. I've been collecting a lot and I'll show you. This is my box of cassettes. <laughs> Uh, most of them are from people down the street that didn't want them anymore, so I have Judy Garland here and like a couple Beatles albums and uh, someone, I, I don't know who these things, Barbara Streisand, okay. And while I was getting those cassettes, I also picked up this cassette player. This is a Walkman, uh, Walkman B10. The Walkman B10 was the cheapest cassette player made by Sony in 1998. And I have taken it apart because one of the problems with these things being that this is, uh, what, 30 some years? It's basically 30, 31 years old now. Uh, the problem with it is that there are belts inside that wrap around things and they get caught. So what I've done is I've taken it apart. I've actually purchased some new belts. There's a guy on eBay who said, I just wanted to keep the hobby of cassettes alive. And I said, that's beautiful, and I bought the belts. So I want to put these belts on this. Uh, when I originally opened this up, the belts had melted, uh, or like, I guess rotted, essentially, and they were actually, uh, they looked like gum. It was like black gum just all over the inside, which is really a bummer. After cleaning it for a while, I think I got most of it off. Uh, but everything is functioning. If I press play, the motor starts spinning. I can hear it spinning. I don't know if you can hear that. But the problem is, is that it doesn't spin any of the mechanisms because there are no belts attaching it. So I have some belts, I'm going to attach it, and then hopefully we can get this to work. Alright, so this is the package that I got with the belts inside. This is the thing that's actually going to make everything possible. So there are two belts. When I open this, I almost actually ripped them. Now, this Walkman is really interesting because it's actually just one circuit sandwiched between two pieces of plastic and it's one of the most simple designs for a Walkman that I, you know I've ever seen or really any piece of technology it's just one little circuit with things on both sides and I really I find that really impressive so the way this works there are two belts that are basically completely deteriorated the first one needs to go here and then it needs to go beneath the other gray belt right here so there's a secondary little little belt thing there. Uh, there's a little metal piece in the way, so I'll have to move that later. But I get that one attached, and then what I can do is attach this other belt to the large gray piece and then the motor. And now I just have to move this little metal piece. Luckily I have these little plastic toothpicks <laughs> that kind of work. Pop it back in the sandwich. Got my batteries in. All right, let's test it out. Hey, hey, hey there we go. So I'm expecting a lot of warbly sounds from this. The Walkman is notorious, especially this model, notorious for not being too great with its pacing. Uh, I can tell when I shake it, it's, uh, it's just a little cheap. Now let's get some music in there. Alright, let's try this puppy out. This is just a random cassette from my box of cassettes. Hopefully the music is good spinning. You can hear it. All right, here we go. Everything's in there. Magnetic tape is there. Let's plug it in the headphone jack. 
we will turn it down a little bit and And it works! Now these tapes are really old, so this probably won't... These, I don't know, it won't hold up very well. Luckily I have a reader writer, so I can... Uh, I can record to some other tapes and get some better recordings, but... I'm really happy. There are a couple different settings here. Let me turn it down. I have a couple different settings. Uh, I can switch it to... Like um, the the metal format, I'm not sure. It's a CRO2, uh, which I think is maybe the chemical makeup of the metal tapes. I'm not sure. So it can handle some higher quality, higher quality tapes. But I'm not gonna play too much of this. But I'm really glad that it works. And I can rewind. I can fast forward. This is just the beginning of some of my adventures with this device. I plan on making some modifications. I have a potentiometer, which is basically just a knob uh, that I'd like to put in between the motor, uh, the power and the motor, so that I can actually adjust the speed while it's playing. So while it's playing, I could go and slow it down, essentially. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, I have a couple of other things in mind, but I'm not sure exactly if they will happen in this this model. I, I want this one mostly to be uh, a pretty simple, straightforward thing. This is my, my, re my return to cassettes, or my entry in it, if you consider my parents owning cassettes, my experience with it. But I'm really excited. Cassettes are just something that are so interesting. I love the the way that that you can just I don't know. It, it's magnetic tape. Basically, you know, cassettes and and everything that has a, a tape like a VHS or anything. It's all magnetic, and then we have these little uh, magnetic heads here that record and read the information that's stored here. Uh, is it kind of the same thing that was like floppy disks in some ways, except floppy disks uh, stored things in a little bit more of a, a computational format, so binary, as opposed to just audio. Uh, it's really, really interesting. But it's a world that I'm excited to get into, and if you're interested in watching more of this, be sure to subscribe. I will be sharing more about my process very soon, and the things that I plan on doing here as I'm working uh, on things like this.